hospice has always it's been a part of Barnsley as long as I can remember. I'd been involved previously with fundraising for it, doing the midnight walk and things like that. But then in October 2015, uh, my mum died. But previously to that, she'd actually had two spells of respite in the hospice. Once was just a GP recommendation and we managed to get a bed for her. So it gave me and my dad and my brother some breathing space. And then following a fall in August 2015, she came here for care after she'd been released from Barnsley Hospital. Uh, so it brought home to me the importance of the hospice. So the first time that I ever came in was when my mum was first in for respite and it was, I was scared. I have to say, coming to a hospice, you just think you're going to see doom and gloom, a lot of very ill people, and within five minutes of me walking through the inpatient unit doors, I was just totally amazed. It was like some sort of transformation. It was so, uh, I'm going to say, such a big weight of being lifted off your shoulders. I saw that the care that my mum was receiving, that the nurses, how they treated my mum, they treated my mum like she was Jean, my mum, not like she was a patient. She was their friend and also treated the family like we were friends as well. So as soon as I walked in, this big weight of being lifted from my shoulders and I just can't thank this, this place enough for the, the care and so, the friendship really and support, just not from my mum, but also for the family. I think the hospice is going to touch more and more people's lives. It touched ours and a lot of our friends and family have all had dealings with the hospice and everything that you hear is just always positive. But the fact that they don't get that much funding from the government, we need to do something to keep this place operational. Without it, my life wouldn't have been as easy when my mum was poorly because we knew that she was getting the care and attention that she needed and that we wanted her to have. But the fact that they don't get the funding, we need to do something about it. The people of Barnsley need to keep this place operational. So we need to raise as much money as we possibly can through, and especially like things like the Midnight Walk, the one night in a onesie, it's just, it's easy for people to do. It's not as though you're having to run a marathon or anything like that. Most people can go out and walk and they can get sponsorship for going out and walking. So, and um, plus, it's fun. So you get to dress up, especially in a onesie, and spend the night with your friends, just walking through Barnsley and helping to raise money for this fantastic place.